Hi, beautiful. Getting a perfectly snatched pony can be a daunting task sometimes. Getting all those little bumps out, making it super flat and tight to your head, it takes a lot of practice. It's honestly just annoying. But it really doesn't have to be annoying. It can be a beautiful, glamorous, fabulous process that can be actually really easy to accomplish in under five minutes. Today I'll be showing you how to do three different types of ponies. A nice and low one down here, a mid-height one, and a very high Ariana Grande pony. It's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be fun. So I'll be showing you all the tips and tricks I've accumulated throughout the years of doing hair. And I'm just gonna say, stop wearing the saggy ponies, please. You never look effortless. You just look sloppy. I want no more saggy ponies in this world after this video comes out, okay? That's my goal here. Why don't we just get it started? Let's do it. No more saggy ponies. So you're gonna need some tools for today's video. These phalanges are not enough. You gotta have a lot of power on these things, but you also gotta have other things. Today I'll be using wave tech. You can also use hairspray or any mousse. You'll need a comb, preferably a rat tail comb. I'll be using a Mason Pearson brush to smooth the hair out today. You can use kind of at any brush. Obviously Mason Pearson is most optimal, but you know, it's a very expensive brush. You don't need this. You can use pretty much anything. I'll be using hair bungees today. It's these things with the hooks on the ends, okay? You can also use just regular elastic but these are much easier when you're doing really slick back tight ponytails. Also, you'll need a flat iron, curling iron, slash crimper, anything you want to do. However, you're trying to style the actual pony, you're going to need that tool for it, okay? I'll be using all different kinds of things for that today, but it's whatever you want, really. Other optional things you might need are a toothbrush for smoothing out edges and getting those edges really, really laid flat. I'll also be using Viper smoothing oil. Don't exactly need it, but you know, you want to hydrate those ends as much as possible. You'll also need a broken tripod stand. That'll help you really do a good pony. That's a joke. Let's do a uh, uh, not a broken one. That'll really help all of us. Hi, Miss Manny Quinn. Haven't seen you in a long time. She's been retired for a little while. Haven't needed this long, luxurious hair for anything recently, but you're back. You're one of my favorite clients because you never talk back to me. And today I hope is not gonna be the day. Okay, so to prep your hair, you're gonna want it nice and flat. I gave her a little blowout. It doesn't need to be as perfect as this. Just as long as these edges and are all smoothed out. This is gonna be essential for making a nice sleek ponytail. We're grabbing our tail comb and we are doing a center part, which is already there. I'm also just gonna part it going all the way back to apply the wave tech foam. Now when I'm applying wave tech, I'm gonna apply all over here first and then I'm gonna take a section, apply it in there, all going back in little slices around the head, like pie slices. I also have to give a big thank you to um, Chris Appleton, who is obviously the most magical ponytail slayer in all the world. I definitely learned a lot from him and a lot of these techniques come from him. Just want to give credit where credit is deserved. Today I'll be using Wave Tech because Wave Tech has gentle holding properties along with shine benefits and a little bit of a hydration. It's gonna be the perfect product to get that really slicked back ponytail. I'm gonna put it right on the comb like this and just rake it in there. Now this will dry, so don't be alarmed if you get all wet hair. And we're gonna go through all of these sections and do the same thing and just get that wave tech all on the root. I know it seems weird putting a wave product when you want your hair to be pinned straight, but a lot of products can be used for different things besides what they are actually advertised for. I do that all the time. I will use products in the way I kind of think they should be used instead of how they were prescribed to be used. And Make sure you're getting all the edges and the back of the head. Yes, Miss Manny Quinn is going on a Tinder date tonight, actually. So we are trying to make her look as best as possible. She is in fact a lesbian and we love. All right, and just like that, we have one side complete. Took me no time at all. You gotta get that product in there. It just helps lay it down so much better in place. It's already staying back, look at that. See, that's what we want. Now, let me quickly do the other other side. We have the beautiful Wave Tech Wave Foam all applied to the head. As you can see, it's already so much flatter. Ooh, it's looking spicy. Ooh, this is my ponytail dance, baby. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna use our Mason Pearson brush or whatever brush you have. And we are going to start brushing the hair down. We don't wanna brush it up. We wanna brush it down and around the ear. And as you can see, that foam is really helping smooth the hair out. We are gonna go and have our head lean back a little bit. What happens when you keep your head back when you put the ponytail in is when the head comes up, it actually pulls and gets a lot tighter. Otherwise, if you do this with your head forward and you put your head back, you'll get this sort of like so we want to put the head back when we do our ponytail and I'm just gonna rake this all into my hand. Oh, she is 
gonna have a migraine tonight. So now I'm gonna take my hair bungee and I am going to start on the bottom and wrap it around. Bungees are awesome because my hand doesn't have to move. And I get to get that really tight in there. You see that magic, dude? with me, are you kidding? And let me just tell you, Ms. Manny Quinn here has a lot of hair. So to get this literally on her head, the mousse really helped. Now you can also go in and blow dry the mousse down. However, she's almost dry at the moment. And if your hair is as thick as hers, I'd probably recommend putting an extra elastic. Please use an elastic that's the color of your hair. It really helps conceal it. Now I'm just gonna take some hairspray on my toothbrush. I mean, if she doesn't really have anything going on up here, but if she did, I would just smooth it out. <gasps> Do you see the way she just like looks so good now. Now I'm gonna take a hair from underneath, smooth it out, make sure it's nice and straight. And I am going to begin wrapping this hair around as I start to spray it with hairspray. That way it sticks to itself and doesn't come undone. Cause who knows what she's getting into later. I don't know. And when you get to the end, I'm just gonna stick this hairpin into her hair, close the hairpin and I stick it right through the base of the pony. And now it's sticking out here and I just yank it through and we have a perfect closure on our ponytail now. Now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Viper, put it all over my hands, run it through the ends and the top to add shine. And now you can leave the hair straight or you can do something else with it. I'm gonna use my Babe Waves crimper today to put some crimps in it. I'm just gonna start on the bottom of her hair. It's just easiest for me to lay the hair on top instead of moving the hair out of the way. And as I crimp the hair, I'm just gonna push the hair back up towards her. That way it reinforces that crimp. Oh, damn, who is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got kind of slayed. She's looking so good. I love the big full waves. If your ponytail is not as full as hers, you can totally get ponytail extensions. I just love the drama of it being really sleek and straight up here and it being really big down here. And also her hair is really soft, but you can tell it has hold and it's so flat. That is exactly what we want. That is the low ponytail. It's super easy, guys. Just a few steps and you're done. You gotta have the right techniques, obviously. Obviously, if that isn't clear already. We're gonna move on to the second type of pony, which is the middle of the head pony. The standard pony, if you'd like to call it that. I would not like to call it that, but let's move on to that one. On to the next pony, baby. I am just going to apply my WaveTech Wave Foam and I'm going to get it really underneath because this look requires her hair to go up. Okay, it's about to defy some gravity, baby. We're gonna comb the foam in, in the direction that the hair is going to be going. So it's gonna be going pretty much up like that. And then we take our next section, we apply more foam and we go this way. I already have foam in the hair, so I won't be doing it again in every single section. All right, we're getting rid of this part up here. We're saying goodbye. We are going to put our hand where we want the ponytail to sit. Right at about eye level back is a great place for a pony. And this should give you a slight facelift from the front. That would mean that you're doing this correctly. Yep, if your face is being yanked off. Should definitely hurt a little bit. With the head back, we're gonna wrap our bungee from the bottom and we're wrapping it around. <sighs> I said slick and defined. Now, because her head was directed backwards, you can see that there is absolutely no bump or anything going on underneath here. And we got it just so smooth from that foam. Like, uh, oh, sorry, I don't know what's up with ponies. It's really doing it for me today. All right, now that we got that secured, you can also put another ponytail over this, just a regular elastic one to make sure it's really secure, but I won't be doing that today because I just don't think it's necessary. So now I'm gonna grab a piece of hair about this thick or whatever thickness you can donate to the wraparound because I know not everybody has this much hair. It's really important that you're getting the pony in the right place. If this were any lower, it would make her look a little frumpy. So we're wrapping it around. We are spraying as we go. Once we have about that much left, we are just gonna put our hairpin on here, close the end, and stick it right through the ponytail. And then you're gonna find it in there, and you're just gonna yank it out. And that way, the ponytail actually stays wrapped by itself. You can put a little more hairspray on that to really smooth it out, but that looks fire. I'm sorry. This will look even better on brown hair because you won't be able to see any imperfections because it doesn't reflect light as much. I'm gonna style this with a little bit of bend and bevel and like flirtiness going on. I don't want it too styled, but more like elegant. We're gonna put a little more Viper in our hair. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna grab my one inch Marcel iron and I'm just going to curl the hair 
like so. And we're just gonna take it out, just a quick little one, two. And I'm actually going to pin this into place. You do not need to do this part. I'm just gonna use a little clip and just pin it like that. If you guys would like to shop any of the products used in today's video, you can below. I'll try and link as many as I can. We're just gonna unpin these. We got beautiful bouncy waves going on. And now for the magic part, we're gonna take our Mason Pearson brush, smooth that right out. All right, now that I straightened the back, we're just gonna put a little bit of hairspray on my toothbrush here. Get all those hairs laid flat. You can also do it in the back as well. Boom, baby. Oh, she looks so good. Now when she walks, everybody's gonna be looking at her. Hey, hold on, wait for me, I'm coming. And she's running, you know, that type of vibe. Um, and from the front, she looks so sleek and gorge. <sighs> I love it. And that is the mid ponytail. She's looking fabulous, but we save the best for last. The snatched up high mother ponytail. Let's get this out and let's do that one. All right, we're on to the highest and craziest, sexiest ponytail of all. If you're wondering why my client's on the ground, it's because that's the best place for her right now. Okay, you can also flip your head over to do this. I am going to obviously make sure we have enough wave tech foam or hairspray in the hair. Now this is gonna be important to really Really snatch this thing up. If you guys didn't see, I, I applied the foam in the last two looks. Why don't you just rewind to that? We're just gonna section off half the hair right now. And I am gonna make sure that we have foam all underneath, just like that. I know, it looks messy. It is. Pretend you have like eyeliner on, right? Like a winged eyeliner. You know how that goes right up? We're trying to go, boom, right up here, like. Bang. I'm gonna start gathering the hair. The Mason Pearson brush really helps that because it breaks through all that hair and makes it so super smooth. That's it guys, I'm done. All right, honestly, I had to wrestle her a little bit off camera because this stand does not work. Um, So I had to put her between my legs and just yank your hair out. And yes, I did get 10 hand cramps trying to put this together because she has so much damn hair, but we did it. <laughs> if you don't get a cramp in your hand and your head doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off while doing a high pony. Did you really do a high pony? Uh, Cause I don't think so. So we got this pony and as you can see, she has absolutely no bump back here. It is so smooth and straight. And from the front, she's looking delicious already. And it is staying up really high. Again, you can put an extra ponytail holder in here if you want extra security. But today we're just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna take my toothbrush, spray some hairspray on there. And I am going to lay all those hairs in the correct place. You can even get some of those tiny little gaps out of the hair and just really make everything extra smooth. Perfect. We're gonna do what we always do, which is grab a small piece of hair from the underneath. Make sure it is nice and straight. And we are going to begin wrapping the hair around and using our hairspray as we go around the head. And once we get this little piece of hair over here, we're gonna grab our hairpin and stick it on the end and stick it right on through there, right into that pony. And you're gonna find the end. This is always like the fun part for me. I don't know why. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh my God, I'm gonna break my teeth. I got it. And you should have something like this once that's done. Now just spray that. Oof. Now let's just put the finishing touches on here. I always like a nice beach wave with these high ponies. I don't know why, but I do. We're just gonna take our section from the underneath like we always do and start waving with our one inch Marcel iron. And I'm just gonna open the iron up and twist around it. And I'm gonna make all these waves going the same way because I want them to clump together just a little bit at the end. But if you don't want them to and you want them a little messier, you can do them all different directions. That's totally fine too. Now I'm just brushing them out real quick, doing a little bit of teasing underneath to bring some more height back to this hair. Oh, she's looking spicy. Ooh, girl, you look so cute. That is the waves. They're all complete. That is how I want it. Kind of relaxed, but also kind of polished at the same time. Just like a good in between the last two. I think this looks stunning. We did that gorgeous, super perky high pony. And it literally took no time at all. You can also finish this off with a little bit of oil or some shine spray. But she looks so gorge and flirty and fun. And this is the ultimate bad ponytail. If you want to look like the baddest on the block, this is what you usually go for. I'm loving it. I wish this was my hair right now. I would just be rocking it like better than Miss Many Queen could. 
Just saying. So those are the three most magical ponytails you can do to your own head. I hope that helped you be able to do your own ponytails. I don't want to see any more saggy ponytails, like I said before. Please make it stop. This should be quite simple for you with just a little bit of practice. So if you end up doing a beautiful ponytail, I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram. Follow me everywhere else. Here is where you can find me on every other platform. Go for it. You guys can also text me. This is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. And yes, I really do see all your messages. And yes, I will be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. And if you text me, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you guys want to check out Viper or any of the other products I use in today's video, they're linked below. You can also head to X Mondo Hair on Instagram. You can also check out my color line, X Mondo Color, which is what my hair is colored with today. You can check out X Mondo Color on Instagram. And you can head to the website linked below. If you guys aren't already subscribed, it'd be so dope if you would subscribe. It is right down below. You just click the button. It's so easy. You can also click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. And the like button to be nice because it's the giving season. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Adrian. She says, hey, Brad, I absolutely love you. I love you too. She basically said she uh, dyed her hair purple two months ago and it was the first time dyeing it. And her hair was black previous to this. She used to have tight curls and now her hair is so straight and damaged. Can I give her any advice on how to fix this and how to get the curls back? Unfortunately, your curls are gonna be probably gone for a while. You're gonna have to do plenty of hair masks and make sure you do bond building masks, things like Olaplex. You can also color your hair with my color line, X Mono Color. You can do it purple and it will actually be beneficial for your hair. It will not damage it. It'll actually make it a lot better than what it is right now. Other than that, you can use curl enhancing products like Wave Tech Wave Foam, like what I use today, and that will help bring your wave back. However, it's just gonna take time to get your wave pattern fully back when your new hair grows out. So I hope that helps you and I hope you get your waves back. Please, I'm praying to the hair gods. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.